Hey guys, it's Sean, and we're back with our calendar pages vertical document setup example in InDesign. Um, when we last looked at this, uh, we had to set up the document and rotate all of its spreads. We had to create 28 different pages. We also made sure that our master pages were uh, rotated and oriented in the right direction. And I quickly went over why having a uh, spread count or a sorry a page count that's divisible by four is important but I know it didn't really make a lot of sense yet because we hadn't looked at printing a booklet so if we go under file and we go down to print you'll notice we've talked about print presets and we've talked about print but we haven't actually talked about print booklet and print booklet is a very important uh, aspect of InDesign. Um, if you look at any book in your house, you'll notice that sure they're in order, pages number uh, one to whatever, but if you look closer at how the pages are actually assembled, you'll notice that you can actually see the technical setup of the spreads. Sorry, I'm looking at a book on my desk right now as I talk about this so I can better describe what's happening. Um, the spreads are uh, folded into what is called a leaf. Um, I'm pretty sure it's called a leaf. Let me just give me one second. I'm gonna go and double check Sorry about that guys So I quickly just had to double check it and a group of eight spreads is referred to as a signature So if you were to look at a book in your house, you'll notice that um, They might be stapled into the book spine or bound into the book spine in some fashion in groups of eight pages um, This is sort of how you uh, mass produce books and you can see it right they sort of describe it quickly down here um, I just needed to double check that <laughs> sorry uh, so when we are setting up our booklet you're essentially um, getting ready to print uh, a book in a series of signatures so that page one and page eight meet up with each other or in this case it's gonna be page one and page 28 um, just because of how uh, our book is going to be bound and uh, sort of printed. So we can preview this by going to print, print booklet, looking down at preview, and you'll see page one and page 28 match up, page two and page 27, uh, 26 and three, so on and so forth. And the reason for this is page one is our cover and page 28 is our back cover, right? Makes pretty much, makes a lot of sense. And as you go throughout the booklet, each page matches up with its counterpart on the other side until eventually um, our pages sort of meet in the middle uh, I believe um, which one is our middle middle spread here da, 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 da. Sorry, yeah, until pages 14 and 15 match up with one another um, if you did not have a number of pages that was divisible by four you would notice there would be a blank page here. Um, let's just quickly delete page 28 so that I can show you what happens when we do not have a document divisible by four. Print booklet, preview, blank page. If you ever see blank page, you know you're in trouble. Um, and sometimes if you haven't done this in a while, it can be really confusing and really uh, anxiety inducing about why a blank page is sitting there. Um, and it will also throw off the flow of the rest of your booklet. So that's just something to be very wary of uh, when you're doing this. The other thing within a print booklet sort of setting that you need to take care of is uh, if you're printing a book like that long novel we worked on formatting, there is front matter in the back of that book that is blank, okay? It has a blank page. So you wanna make sure that you hit print blank printer spreads because if this isn't checked, then the computer will ignore those spreads and they won't end up in your booklet, in your book, and it will throw off the organization of everything you've worked so hard to maintain. So with that being said, under setup, um, print presets, uh, you could very easily use the gatefold print preset for this one that we set up earlier. Uh, I also have one um, that's the exact same settings. It's just a little bit more specific on the naming convention. Uh, you could use, there's even one here called calendar setup saddle stitch. Uh, this is exactly what you're thinking of when you see a calendar. It has the staple feet, the staples that would go through the center of the book. Um, examples like that, you know are available. Uh, you can select the range of pages that you want to print, um, what type of booklet. This is very, uh, it, this is 
very crucial for um, understanding what type of binding you're going to be using uh, when you go to print a book. For now, we're just going to leave it on two up saddle stitch. But I think that if I changed this to two up consecutive, the order of the pages will change. So this order is sort of more like what you'd see in a large novel, where obviously the first page and the last page cannot possibly be printed on the same piece of paper because of how the book is assembled. Um, this is much more in tune with, I think, what you would see in a novel. But for now, we're going to leave it with saddle stitch. Um, as you develop throughout your career and you start working on more complex uh, print jobs, um, you'll learn more about uh, the booklet types. But for now, we're just going to stick with saddle stitch. Creep, we can leave this at zero. This is not a big enough document to involve creep. If we were working on something that had hundreds of pages, sure, we'd need to go in and adjust that. But for now, we're going to leave it. And then um, everything else uh, just automatically adjusts to fit marks and bleeds. Definitely leave that. We want to print, uh, print blank printer spreads. And under print settings, uh, this is where you start to get into your actual printer. Um, we've gone over this dialog box before, uh, so nothing new here. Just make sure all your settings are um, proper. I'm going to switch over to my desk jet, and I'm going to, you know, apply whichever ones that I would need. Unfortunately, my printer is not fancy enough to actually do this print job, so it's not even going to generate a preview. If I was working in an environment where I had access to a really nice Xerox machine, it would show you a preview. I'd be able to better demonstrate this. Um, so that is sort of a downside. Side. But I thought it was important that you guys know about the print booklet feature and just how important it is to the production workflow within InDesign. That's been how to print a booklet and how to set up your calendar pages. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.